in our premises just for testing. Um, you've seen the tests on the J series, but on this particular video, I wanted to show it connected to a third party tank. This, by the way, um, has got a three meter coil. If you are going to use a third party cylinder with the Panasonic Aquaria, and that doesn't really matter whether it's the J series or whether it be the DM, um, really you'd still want to make sure it's got as big a coil as possible so you can get high gain. Um, three metre coils are usually, you know, quite bomb proof with a heat pump. So, you know, in this instance, it's a three metre coil. And I know there are other brands on the market that will also do a heat pump high gain cylinders with a three metre coil. So they perform exceptionally well um, in most instances. So, you know, it's only a suggestion if somebody wanted a different size, you know, whether it be a smaller, a smaller cylinder or a larger um, cylinder for that matter, like a 400. So, as I said, Panasonic Aquaria cylinder, which is made by also for Panasonic, come in two sizes only, 200 litre, 300 litre. If, if that's not quite um, suffice for, for the end user, they want maybe 400. Again, that would have to be a third party. So, um, so yeah, just a short video, just to show the J series connected to a third party tank. Third party tanks, um, they all differ, um, but in our setup for our hot water, when they're initially you know, setting up and configuring for the customer, we'd normally favor 48 degrees, probably no more than 52 because you know, it's all about trying to give you low run costs and better efficiency for your money for your investment. So ideally on the controller, 48 degrees, set point for hot water. Um, and yeah, if, if you are gonna do the Legionella cycle weekly, um, you know, you could use the built-in backup heater for that. So the J-Series, you know, it, it really can sort of take care of that on its own using the, you know, obviously the heat pump to get the temperature up to 48, 50 degrees, whatever your set point is. And then, you know, once weekly, that backup heater would kick in and raise the temperature to your 60 degrees for your sterilisation or 65 degrees. Um, 